in the draw for Jacksonville. Jake, Na Jake Nasso for Duke. The referees have the players over the ball. There's the whistle. Push forward, face off. Clamp was one. Push forward by Jacksonville, but they can't get the ground ball, and it's picked up. And Duke is off to the races. They were before that hit. It's getting mugged at the midfield line. Intense, Matt. Great start. Oh, that might go in. Just went wide. It was a big hit there off the faceoff. A real scrap on the ground ball. That's like one of those boxing matches where they just come out, fist the blazing on that fa uh, faceoff. Jacksonville had an opportunity there, and Duke throws it away on their first offensive possession. Yeah, that's that's uh, a lot of intensity out of the gate, which you expect. And, and uh, it was a scrap on that first ground ball and a big hit by JU. So that's going to get the, uh, the team in white fired up. So Jacksonville has Jason Yoquinto starting in cage, only his second start for JU. Almost looked like Stagnito put it up against his chest coming across that midfield line. There's no call. Pushing him on the sideline, and Duke breaks free for their second possession. Great poise in the clear there for Duke. Really nice play by 33, the, the long pull, getting that ball up and out. Evan Ness, and Duke is back on offense. 0-0 zero zero is our score. 11.46 to go in the first quarter. You can see there, Coach Galloway told us uh, when we talked to him earlier in the week, Ray, that uh, they could not give transition. They need to get six guys back in on defense. So don't expect JU to ride really hard today. So O'Neill carries, covered by Tucker Denault. Shot score, lefty rip, high heat, and Duke's on top one to nothing. Yeah, Brennan O'Neill doubled uh, up, so expect Duke to maybe start bringing the high heat a little bit. When you have a 6'5 goalie, you have a tendency to want to shoot low on him. He proved he can get down there when called upon. Deacon marking Montgomery. Well, that's a win for the JU defense, killing that, that uh, offside penalty off. Now let's see if they can get a stop here with a 6-on-6. Six six. Hedging on that slide. Rolling back, here comes the double. Shot score, O'Neal. That's Sowers to O'Neal. Tough to cover. Initiated on this nearby wing. Duke back on offense with a two to nothing lead. Number one ranked Duke here in Jacksonville. On a sunny day. O'Neal. So that was a good possession for JU, but uh, you, you got to end up with a better look at the cage on, on both those opportunities. So you just got to keep working. Two man game. Oh boy, heck of a shot by O'Neal there. So, what do you but, mean by hit singles? Well, just make the easy pass. Don't try to make the home run pass. Just just hit that first stick you see on the perimeter when they do slide or when when they put you in a tough situation. Jacksonville has struggled on man up. Yeah, 23 percent on the year. That, that's got to be a, a stat they want to improve. You know, you want to get up over 35 towards 40. There's Dolan, over to Stagnita, to Garrity. Skip across to the backside to Jeremy Winston was locked and loaded with that dangerous left hand. Shot yeah, score. Nice move. Tucker Garrity. Reg Pretty good ride there, making him work. Duke is uh, obviously very efficient in the, in the clearing game. And as Coach uh, Galloway told us earlier in the week, you can't give them transition. So we got to get six guys back, and as he said, it in the bucket. So on the inside of the defense and, and make sure you make them play six on six and don't give them transition. There's Denenza down that right alley trying to penetrate. Williams looking to get underneath. He pulls it out. Well defended by Hedinger. Shot score on the cut. Denenza with the finish. Yeah, that's been, uh, I think that's certainly the last two goals are very, very familiar, right, for the offensive set for, for Duke. They're getting the looks they want. But uh, obviously, great hustle play by Ju to, to to recover that. Errant pass goes out of bounds. Bad pass by Yokinto and a turnover. When you make a good defensive stop, you want to give your defense a rest and struggle in the clearing game for Jacksonville. Yeah, that's going to be a challenge. You can't give uh, this Duke offense second opportunities, and, that, and that's going to be key for Jacksonville moving ahead. They can't give me easy ones, and now, now Duke's going to go to work here on the offensive side. Number one rating Duke in town. Here comes Robertson. 
Got the shorty on Denault. There's a shot and a score. Got to the top side. No help. Shot and a score. Yeah, they're picking on the short sticks right now, which which most teams do, right? I mean, you want to initiate on the shorty and and uh, has not been a part of this game in a significant way as of yet. The transfer, Trapetta from Providence. One of those transfers we talked about for Jacksonville, looking for a contribution. It's Trapetta down that right alley. Winston lets it go, shot and a score. Jeremy Winston lets the lefty ripper go, and Jacksonville's back on the board, five to two. That that is a put it to a great spot on on the lefty shot from the wing. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm glad to see Winston shooting. He was really hesitant, was in a slump, didn't get his first goal until last game against Utah, game number four, uh, five. Had two goals in that 8-3 to three Jacksonville win last week against Utah. Jacksonville comes into the game with a 3-2 and two record. They played Mercer, their only conference opponent, but it was a non-conference game. They'll be up in Macon, Georgia. Shot over the goal. Macon next week for the start of conference play. Then a neutral site game in Rock Hill, South Carolina, just outside of Charlotte against Robert Morris. There's a feed to the backside shot and a score. Caught Jacksonville, a little bit of ball watching, and you don't want to do that with uh, Sowers sit posting up there on the far corner. Yeah, they, they forgot about a pretty important guy there in front of the goal. Sowers was... Uh, and Smith in Jacksonville. Good show by the defense there, not to, not to slide, just to show to it. And, and That's a good push from the front. That's some good action going on. Great athletic play for Duke to keep it. Shot saved. Jason Yoquinto brushes that one aside. That's the old wax on save, that windshield wiper save. I like it. That is your style, Ray. Yeah, I'd probably be picking the ball out of the net right now, <laughs> telling my defense to play better. Yeah, most likely, but give yourself some credit. You're a heck of a goalie. Robertson down that left alley. Attempting the redodge. Jacksonville comes. There's going to be a push from behind. Shot. Yokito comes up with it. Ball still live to Nenza. Denenza gets to the middle, skip pass, shot and a score. Too many opportunities, and exactly. Robertson's going to bury that one if he gets a good look at the cage. It, it's tough. He made, he's making some great saves. Game, you'd be happy with that, but we're already at eight, and we're not even at halftime. Nasso has won seven of ten faceoffs. There's Sowers. There's a flag down. Looks like Heed's going to be sent to the penalty box following this possession. Going with the big little behind the goal again, trying to get the mismatch. Now you have O'Neal on a shorty. Good communication. You hear him calling calling that double. Sowers communicates, moves the ball. Feed to the crease, shot and a score. Uh, you, you yeah, Sean, Sean Lowry just uh, posted you, up. You nailed it, Ray. I mean, you could hear it. Rocket towards the substitution area. and A couple of turnovers, putting Jacksonville in a hole. Skip across. Williams, strong left-handed player, converted attackman. He's he's comfortable down, down on that wing quite a bit. Now Sowers, pushing that goal line extended, bumps it up to Montgomery, feeds down to the crease, shot and a score. Lowry on the goal. You know, watching Duke play this year, Montgomery's guys that Jacksonville counts on for offense that just aren't playing. Yeah, it's a big difference. I mean, you're changing personnel, but they've got to find their best group. So we got a 1-4-1 out of uh, Duke right now. Let's see if they flow into a different set. Feed to the crease, shot and score. Didn't need to. Basile was posted. I bet you their third line would, would start at probably 75% of the colleges. A lot of programs. Yeah, they're just so deep, so deep. And a real simple 1-4-1 set. But they're not have, done yet either. When you have two guys on the inside like they had there, it's uh, – Tough to cover both, right? Shot and a score. Making it look easy now. The run is on. That was Lindsay off of that face-off win. Finished the cut and that backside from behind the corner. going to have a run at the shorty Hedinger. Feed to the crease. Shot. Little split. I'm not sure if it was a save or not, but or, Yoquinto yeah. was pretty uh, aggressive. And they throw it away. Yeah, you get a great save there. I don't know if it hit the pipe or it was a save. And then they come up with the... The first time ground ball, and then you, you turn it over, and that's uh, that's a tough recipe against this Duke offense. You can't give them second opportunities. Let's see if they can bear down defensively and get another stop, which is always uh, 
Always tough against this Duke, Duke offense. There's O'Connor splitting back to the right. Looking for that crease when that early slide comes. He's open. There he is behind the back shot and a score. He, he beat his man off ball and probably had three steps on him. Yeah, y you can see it's it's a pretty simple offense. It's it's you played it perfectly, and then you had a big save there uh, by by the uh, Jacksonville goalie against O'Neill. So Williams steps on, receives the ball from Robertson. Oh, bad attempt by Heed. See if they make him pay. Denenza. Look at him just roll through those cuts, shot and a score. Dyson Williams on that lefty cut. They were sight. They look like gears from a from an old old clock. They <laughs> were all moving in sync. It was standing today. Got him down for ten saves, thirteen goals against. There's, There's another one. one. Stylish too, when you see the six five guy doing splits. Yeah, he's uh, he's impressive. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, that's not impressive. Again, for Jacksonville, uh, uh, off the saves, uh, Yoquinto's got to be shaking his head. Guys, let me catch my breath. Feet to the backside, wide open shot. Might have taken a deflection. It's wide, out of bounds. No reset on the shot clock, 73 seconds. Yeah, just far too many second opportunities, second possessions for, for the team in blue here. It's, uh, it's too much to ask of your defense. Are they zoning up here, Matt? Shot and a score. Looked like they went into a zone. Simple uh, drive hard on the corner and hit the uh, hit the wing for a decent look. They've got the short stick on Stagnita. See if they are double pulling that midfield. Short time on the shot clock, and it's going to be an over and back call. Over and back on JU. Empty possession for the Dolphins. Duke has numbers if they want to run it here. Robertson tried to feed one down to the crease, and Tyler can't come up with that ground ball. Jacksonville's just struggling. Mint uh, wide open on the crease. Not the guy you want to leave wide open as O'Neal posts up and a little bit of an alley-oop. Yeah, they, they had a six on. Montgomery to Caputo. So you see they start in a circle, a wide circle, and they'll cut into a quick play here. Look for a quick hit on the inside. Sowers to 51. Covered very well. There's O'Neal. Shot from Robertson. Sails wide. Backed up by Sowers. Yeah, Duke really likes this 1-4-1 on, on the extra man with the, uh, the inside. And there you go. Quick feed, finish, and goal by Dyson Williams. 16-2 is our score with 4.36 to go. Got a timeout. Um, you know, he, he did lose lose footing there, and it's a tough call on, on Duke. So Jacksonville with an extra man opportunity. If you're ever going to get a chance to score, it should be right here, but they have struggled in the man-up game this season, last couple of seasons. Probably the most glaring weakness. They're changing some personnel. Dolan behind the goal. Stagnita trying to free up on the crease. Shot and a score. Goddard. Little uh, worm burner back in the day. Good, good patience. I mean, they ran their their set play exactly. simple, clear. It's amazing when you keep it simple. Great job. I'm not great at math, but if the goalie stays in his crease, you have an extra man on the clear. Is that correct? You you have one more to clear. Yeah, exactly. Now so. I'm not going to say, seeing you play, you're in such fine shape these days that you love to run that ball from your crease all the way to the offensive Midi end. Maybe trapped in a goalie's mind. <laughs> absolutely, you can run. So Pio's getting some time. Uh, yeah, he's impressive. He's, he's made some good, strong dodges to the cage. Oh, boy, that trail track. And Goddard lets one rip. He likes that low release Excellent. on the left hand. The Brunswick School, New York, New York. I believe he had a really big game in their last one against High Point. I think he played most of that game as opposed to Nassau to give Nassau a rest. and Robertson have a catch behind the cage. Back out top to Walsh. The, the, the second and third line, Quigley, they all look so confident, and there's a shot and a score. And, and this is 
offense 101, right? I mean, they're dodging off ball movement. They're not backing up and then dodging the Kays. They're dodging off. Limestone in the preseason in a scrimmage game, and he had two cannons on man up. It was actually the green-white game, inter-squad sc scrimmage, and time and room shooter. Well, let's see if Coach Galloway leaves these guys out here for man up and not put, put his first group in. I'm not sure what he'll do here when the, uh, when the whistle blows. Chase has a couple highlight reel goals on the season from nearby McClay, and he shoots and scores from about 15. That was like a step away jumper. Sam Chase. All right, Brooke, your boy. Brooke was in the studio early. Photo, I want to I wanna see it. That was, uh, that was really neat, and, and here he is now playing for JU, so you got to love it. Win by cap. Hits to the point man, Stagnita. Shot and a score. Back-to-back -back goals. Great shot by Stags. Excellent face-off win. That's a Young comes out on the, on the near side wing. Cap there to take the face off. Opportunity for Duke. But Young comes up with it. He's going to have a go. And there's our final horn. Time has expired. So, Matt, uh, good little flurry there at the end. Two quick goals for Jacksonville. Yeah, you got to like the way Jacksonville finished there. I mean, Sam Chase making the play up the sideline and then Stagnita getting one. You know, he, he was pretty quiet.